I am still the Son of God. You are still the Son, our daughter of Jesus. Actually, you're the brother or sister of Jesus and the Son and daughter of God, if you want to get theologically correct. But we're all one family. And yes, we do have a special privilege. But our big brother showed us an example. To love means to deny ourselves. To think of others more highly than ourselves. And to put the glory of the Father first and foremost. For when you put the glory of God first, you find it is easier to love one another, even when they dishonor or disrespect you. Because love will show you how to love back and be humble. Let humility be a part of the Christmas gift that we give back to God this year. Not just for this Christmas season, but for the remainder of 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, I could go on until the Lord comes home. But you get the point. Let us <clears throat> seek to be humble like our Jesus and empty ourselves, as it says in so many of our translations. Let's pray. Lord, I just want to thank you for this time that we could come and just see how you left heaven to become a part of us. A lot of times we like to look at these passages and say, oh, that's a nice theological question. How did Jesus do this? It really has no application. It does have application. It shows us how we are to live. Humbly. Meekly. Lovingly. Not expecting anything in return. But hoping love comes back. Help us, dear Lord, to follow your example. And to treat one another, not only within the church body, but the world. To love them in humility, as you loved us. In Christ's name, amen. Shall we stand in